So let's break it down. There's four components of it, right? First of all, what are you really good at? And one of the things I mention when I work with adults on this, whether it's leaders or individuals, is a lot of people don't really appreciate the things they're good at, and they'll tend to minimize them. So make a list. Take five or ten minutes. This is not a long task. Take five or ten minutes and make a list that you're, of things you're really good at. There are no wrong answers. Don't sit there and say to yourself, well, this one probably doesn't count. Because it might. Because if you, and I'm going to give you an example, if you have a skill where you are part of a team at a company and you're the one that people look to to get people to shift their perspectives, embrace new ideas, mediate conflicts, so people count on you to kind of do that during group meetings or brainstorming sessions, that's a huge value. Now, it might not say that on your review, It might not be part of your job description, but that's a great communication skill for you to have. And not only is it valuable in the way I just said, what you don't realize is it improves productivity, it improves efficiency, it improves employee relationships because you're pulling people together and you're keeping things moving. So that's a prime example of something you might really be good at But you might not write it down because you might not either realize it or think it's that worthwhile. But it is. Second ingredient. What makes you special? Here's what I mean by what makes you special. I want you to be able to finish this sentence. Let's pretend someone thought you were leaving your company. And they said, oh my God, if if so-and-so leaves, we're going to be really in trouble. How do we handle blank? And hopefully they're saying, how would we handle blank, blank, and blank? That's important because to really understand the impact you have on a company, if you're leaving the company and the person isn't losing a lot of sleep over it, the team, the company, your boss, whoever, then you really haven't done a good job demonstrating your impact. And this is what I meant when I talked about hard work and loyalty. Those things are great. But working a lot of hours doesn't necessarily indicate impact. And a lot of people want to say they're working 50 hours a week or 60 hours a week. But if you're not generating the kind of results that someone's looking for, then that hard work doesn't matter as much when it comes to personal ROI. And so understanding the impact that you create for a company, it's two things. What would they say? Would they really under, Do they really recognize what the loss would be And do you know what the loss would be? Are you able to demonstrate it? Because if you can't demonstrate it, how are they going to be able to demonstrate it? The third one is what distinguishes you from your peers. And I'm going to actually save that one for last. I'm going to cover the fourth one. And the fourth one is how do you personally help the company achieve its goals? And that's pretty simple, right? The company has a vision. It has a mission. It has expectations. And what are you doing from a higher level? And I'll give you a quick example. Let's say part of the company's uh, mission is to do philanthropic work or work with nonprofits. That's not necessarily part of your job description, but are you doing things to help further that mission? So that would be an example of an additional way you could help the company achieve its corporate goals. But the one I mentioned a moment ago, what distinguishes you from your peers is huge. And when I, when I say peers... I'm not just talking about the the people on your team and that you work with, whether it's leadership or just people on your team. I'm talking about people that could take your job. Think about going on a job interview and a person says to you, boy, I've interviewed 10 candidates for this position. Why should I hire you as opposed to everybody else? Do you know how to answer that question? And not only do you know how to answer it, but do you know how to answer it by giving tangible and specific reasons That will prove that. Because if you can't, that's a problem. Because your value, your personal ROI to a company, someone's got to be able to look and say, oh, boy, we know we can count on so-and-so for this because they're the problem solver. They're the conflict resolver. They're the negotiator. What unique set of qualities or characteristics do you have 
that really you're known for. It's your identity and that distinguish you from your peers. And do you have actual examples that will support it? Those are huge. So those are the, as we head into our second break, understand those are the key things for personal ROI. What are you good at? What makes you special that people couldn't live without? What distinguishes you from your peers, your identity, your value, and how do you personally help the company achieve its goals and vision and expectations and mission? 